Hey there guys, how you doing? Welcome back to your Football Manager channel, Full Time FM, where we're going to be looking at Christopher Ayer from Celtic today. 22-year-old Nor Norwegian, 6 foot 5. Let's face it, I think at some point we've all tried to sign him in Football Manager, haven't we? Uh, if he played with a top team. He's an enthusiastic centre-back, there you go. He can also play midfield really well um, and be a good defensive midfield player. Now, strength, 14 Jumping reach 16, heading 15. It's going to be, you know, difficult to deal with in the air. Also, somebody is going to help you out defending corners as well as attacking them. Uh, technique, tackling, marking, first touch of 14. Passing and heading 15. Finishing and dribbling 12. I'm in two minds with Christopher here, whether he should be a midfield player. Um, you know, who is a ball winning player who you know defends or you know deep line playmaker who supports or what I think there's some sort of middle ground or middle role for him where he can perhaps be a central midfielder who defends there you go and you make a hell of a lot out of his big attributes there uh, technique tackling passing marking first touch you know all very good for me personally, I don't think you're going to get better than a ball playing uh, defender uh, who works as a stopper. So, whether he stays as a centre back, whether he moves into midfield over the next five years, and how he develops and who he moves to, we're about to find out. Well, five years down the line, 69 caps, two goals for Norway. 27 year old Christopher Ayer is still playing for Celtic. Uh, valued at 15.5 million, he's wanted by AC Milan and Sheffield United. Uh, his jumping reach is 16, heading 15. I think his tackling's decreased from 14 to 13. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem. However, his acceleration's gone from 11 to 12. So it looks as though he's got quicker. Uh, the centre back tries to play his way out of trouble, dives into tackles, likes balls to be played to feet. And brings the ball out of defence. So he's got a few player traits there as well. He's played 293 career games. 222 of them for Celtic. 10 goals out of his 20 career goals have come for Celtic as well. So he's not been prolific. He's, he's a good player. And overall he's developed quite well. But he could have improved his tackling. I think he needs to leave Celtic in order to become a better player. That's that's me speaking as someone who's got a soft spot for him and, and Celtic. So, yeah, hopefully he does get a prem move to Arsenal where he normally goes or he, he moves to somewhere that where he's going to play regular football and carries on improving. Anyway, I hope that helps. If it does, make sure you come join our community by subscribing and dropping a like on the video and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.